own, possess, buy, or sell a firearm. And it's very interesting. After we went up there, we stood on the front lawn when the, when the uh, VSO showed up there. We had the sheriff with us, and the VA completely backed down and, and began running away from this as fast as they possibly could. The very next business day, so the next Monday, the same doctor who had made that decision and had never followed up over eight months after this gentleman had a stroke to see that he'd actually recovered from the stroke, wrote a letter and said magically, oh, he's all better now. He's, he's totally fine. Th that These not are test trial balloons. They have said it. They are coming after everybody. And I'm telling you, if they try to disarm millions of people on Social Security, it's going to start a civil war. And I think that's their plan. So how do we not respond? Well, we don't get violent. We politically get involved like this state rep and go and stand in the doors, draw attention to it, show video of it, and it will backfire. I think that one of the great the great examples of this was just a, a video we posted here over the weekend, again, involving this, this sheriff's office and a particular deputy lawhorn, interesting name, by the way, where there was a pro-life protester on a corner, completely legal, four ladies come up and begin harassing him hurling violent and vile insults at him right in his face. A homeschool mom pulls over and begins filming, and it ends up that this guy, the guy that's protesting, instead of the four ladies, is the one that is put in handcuffs and detained yes. and treated abysmal. abysmal, abysmal in fact, I saw that video. Give us the name of that. We'll put it up on screen because this is what we're talking about. There are more patriots than there are pro-death people. The woman pulls over to document, then she's able to catch... The sheriff's deputy following the Southern Poverty Law Center Soviet roundup plan to, oh, I've got one of these pro-lifers. Let's take them to jail because they hate the fact that last weekend or the weekend before last, there were thousands of demonstrations across the country. Some of them 500, some of them one person, some of them 1,000, some of them 20 people. But every person going out did something by drawing out the tyranny, by showing what these evil forces want to do. I mean, if that doesn't show how wicked this sheriff is, nothing does. There it is. Spokane Sheriff's deputy harasses peaceful pro-life protester, threatens witnesses on video. This is what it is to have a hardcore communist organization. That's what the Southern Poverty Law Center is. Just hardcore evil running our sheriff and police departments. I mean, this is sick. Representative Shea? And the, the perfect example of how to act in this situation is what this whole homeschool mother did. She remained calm. She remained very respectful. And she demanded that they state the reason she could not be there. And this is despite the fact that I want to read this for you, Alex. It's to, despite the fact that in the sheriff's own standards of conduct, it reads this. The Spokane Sheriff's Office recognizes the right of persons to lawfully record members of this department who are performing their official duties. Members of this department will not prohibit or intentionally interfere with such lawful recordings. They're not even abiding by their own standards, their own clear standards. And this homeschool mom did a phenomenal job by remaining calm, standing on her God-given unalienable rights protected by the Constitution, and demanding that that deputy state the reason why she couldn't be there, and he didn't have an answer. I'll tell you All what's exciting. I want to get Joe Biggs' take on this when we come back and the state reps. You can feel the good people standing up in your gut, and they're so much stronger, so much more focused than these evil people, and evil knows it. That's why from Rutgers to the University of Texas, they're trying to restrict free speech because they know they got to shut us up. When we come back, we're going to fight back with the Second Amendment with Joe Biggs, Representative Matt Shea, VoteShea.com. And this sheriff's trying to organize movements to have Shea removed from office. We'll be back. You know, I'm going to move Vonnie Hari, the food babe, who's launching another major initiative and having huge success, to next week. Because what she's doing is very important, and we've got major GMO news. Uh, where Germany is basically banning everything from the U.S., Russia is, because it's so polluted it's so dangerous. And, and that's good. It'll stop big agra uh, from doing what they're doing, voting with our dollars. Here it is. Germany joins Scotland in seeking ban on gene-modified seeds. So that's all coming up. We have Joe Salente the last 30 minutes, but I want to be able to get into this Planned Parenthood situation, the Chinese stocks, uh, what's happening uh, in Europe, where I see all this going. I want to get into... This clip where comedian uh, jabs Hillary Clinton for attending Bilderberg 
uh, on national TV. This is very exciting what's happening, but I need to talk to Representative Shea and Joe Biggs for the rest of the hour to really be able to flesh all this out, and I appreciate them joining us. We're going to go back to them in a moment because I tend to start talking real fast. I start sweating. I start getting angry, not because there's something wrong with me. If I was a German in 1938 Germany, believe me, I'd be upset about what I saw. Military equipment being deployed locally, people being demonized for their free speech, restrictions on gathering if you weren't in the right group, uh, kids being told their parents weren't their bosses. Classic totalitarianism. And I got to say, Hitler's tyranny early on was focused mainly on select groups. It wasn't general. The general level of bizarreness with public schools all over the country banning uh, touching hands, banning dodgeball, banning boy and girl, restricting free speech. Schools all across the country are, quote, banning all flags. See, all flags are hurtful now. All language is hurtful. That's the goal, where they can ban and restrict anything they want when they want. They're the arbiters who decide. These people are such tyrants that I get upset. I mean, when they're deploying armored vehicles in every town, and then police and military have told us for 18 years since I learned about this, from police and military, the chief of police of San Antonio, the head of emergency management in Kingsville, I have them on video saying Bill Clinton had Delta Force approach them about preparing martial law and gun confiscation. And by exposing that, they had to back off. They were thinking about pulling off more Oklahoma cities, folks, and blaming the liberty movement. But we exposed them, we backed them off. Now they're back, and it's like 10 times worse than it was. And they're openly saying, and we have another clip from Indiana, we're going to play in a moment, saying... This is for the American people. This is for the veterans. They're going to attack us. That's in Morgan County, Indiana, police sergeant saying the same words that we know came out of the mouth of the sheriff's deputy in Spokane because it's Southern Poverty Law Center. And in their public documents, they say I'm evil and horrible and, you know, all this stuff. But in their internal ones, they say I'm a terrorist. We know that's come out. They were saying about locals that run mainline Tea Party groups that this is a terrorist. And imagine the sheriff deputies are all sitting there in a room, hundreds of them, learning in a major city, a major town, that this guy is a terrorist. So they see a woman out with her First Amendment, she's a terrorist. I'm going to give the floor to Joe Biggs and Shay for the rest of this segment and the last segment of this hour. But I've laid that out. We're going to play this clip. Briefly, I want to just remind viewers it is essential that you spread the word about this broadcast. There is a reason they're attacking it. There is a reason they're demonizing it. Because we're here raising the alarm like Paul Revere. The exact same office Paul Revere had, we are in that position today. So is Matt Shea. So is people like Joe Biggs. So are you, like that woman out there with the pro-life sign. They want to intimidate us not to do that. That's why they tell us not to. Now, most departments would support it because they're good people. We have to expose the bad people that are globalist collaborators by engaging them peacefully. They want to get it violent because we're winning the info war. No, we've got hidden cameras inside your Planned Parenthood. We have hidden cameras inside your state houses. We're coming for you. We're stronger than you. There's more of us. We're awake now. We're coming. We're coming. Go ahead and act however you want. We're coming for you. I'm glad you're scared. We're coming. Go ahead. Engage in some terrorism. Blame us. This isn't 95. You're not going to get away with it. You didn't get away with 95. Most people know that was an inside job now. Go ahead. Try to pull it because it's going to blow up in your face literally. Before we go any further, we have the best colloidal silver out there, bar none, 30 parts per million, highest quality. I'm not going to sell out of it this time because we're not going to get more until mid-October at least, maybe November. So I'm going to try to hold back enough so at regular sales price, we'll have enough to get us there. So I've done a calculation of selling it, how many we can sell until we need to stop the sale. Thursday or Friday, we'll have to end it guaranteed. Buy two bottles at regular price, get two bottles free, or get 30% off the regular discounted price. It's an amazing deal. Colloidal Silver is so amazing. A lot of people know about it. Read about it at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Continuing, Super Male Vitality. After being sold out for weeks, Super Male Vitality is back in stock at InfoWarsLife.com. We are now taking orders on this new emergency shipment, our biggest shipment ever and the strongest. It has hundreds of five-star reviews on Power Reviews, third-party review site, highly respected. We link to it at InfoWarsLife.com. Here are just some of the latest reviews. This is by... Inquiry, Miami, Florida. I feel a burst of energy within minutes. I use it in the morning after I get up to go to work and also take another before my daily workout routine in the afternoon. Wow, wow, wow. My power has increased when hitting the gym. I also started noticing that my muscles don't hurt as bad as they used to after hitting the gym hard. My muscle recovery has improved tremendously. Thank you, InfoWars. All your products are amazing. 1776. Okay, that's Miami, Florida. Thank you for the review. Thank you for your support. Power Lifter Dave. Initially didn't experience much in the way of results, so I held off writing a review. Then a little over a week ago, I began to notice some dramatic changes in how I felt and even in my mental state. This stuff is the real deal, and it varies the dose. I withheld a star because I want to see the long-term effects when things normalize within my body. But I would and do recommend this to my friends. Absolutely worth giving this a shot. Yeah. What it does is block estrogen mimickers. It gets your glands to start releasing. It doesn't mimic a testosterone. It gets your body to release a whole bunch of stuff, according to group. I don't know the technicals. Read about it, InfoWarsLife.com, and it helps fund the operation show. It's a win-win. All right, I'm now going to try to settle down and shut up after this clip. Here is, again, what we mentioned, the sheriff's deputy uh, there in uh, the county in Indiana. The full videos on InfoWars.com saying the exact same thing that the sheriff was saying uh, out in Washington. Here it is. We really didn't have the the violence that we see today. Um, the Not weaponry true. is totally different now than it was in, in my, the beginning of my career. Um, plus, you have a lot of people that are coming out of the military that have the ability and the knowledge to, to build IEDs and, and to defeat law enforcement techniques. All right, uh, Joe Biggs, you've been sitting back listening to all this. I want you to take a few minutes to break all this down. I mean, veterans, very low crime rate. Conservatives, one of the lowest crime rates. There isn't an escalation in patriots engaging in criminal activity or terrorism, but they're trying to prepare us for when they false flag, in my view. Go ahead. I mean, just like that guy said, these guys are coming out of the military and they're automatically able to uh, make these IEDs, which is complete and total BS. It'd only be a small portion of the people who actually train with explosive ordnance disposal or anything like that, or just some random stuff that you can figure out on the internet yourself. But they make it seem like you come back from Iraq and Afghanistan and you have this capability to go out and build these complex bombs and go blow stuff up. When in actuality, when you go over there, you learn how to restrain yourself. You learn how to use uh, uh, just different types of how you carry your weapon, uh, where you point your muzzle, the safety with it, how you talk to people, how you approach, how you can de-escalate situations easier. My ability to de-escalate a situation is much easier than it is for a normal civilian who hasn't quite been through what I've been through. So when you see these sheriffs come out here and they say that we're just ticking time bombs, that's kind of just out of control right there. I mean, that's way out there. Well, there are some that are ticking time bombs, but statistically, veterans have lower crime rates than any other major group. Well, it's the just ones a load of crap. The ones that are ticking time bombs are the ones that have been through a, a, a crazy scenario, such as like a lone survival thing. They bring them back and they pump them full of medications. They don't get to the root of the problem. They pump them full of medications. They pump them full of medications. Or they had something wrong with them before they went. Yeah, but that's what they need to do. They need to get to the root of the problem. Stop demonizing an entire group of patriots who decided to get up off their butt and go fight for their country. Well, they're getting ready to get rid of humans in combat and have all machines. And the last group the elite have to deal with is going to be the veterans. So there will be a major war on veterans worldwide. There's a war on men. There's a war on standing <coughs> up. You know, Obama acts like he loves these soldiers uh, that stood up on the train. They're all these heroes. That's exactly who they hate. But they're using the mainstream media right now to dumb everybody down. I go all over the country and I meet people, engage in conversations. A lot of people don't even know they have the right to carry weapons. They don't even know that they could carry an assault rifle or a shotgun or what they even need to do to sure to have a concealed weapon. What do you think of this, Sheriff? What do you think he's doing? I, I think he's just spewing rhetoric. I think he's out of control. I think this guy is... A puppet for the SPLC. He's doing whatever he can to demonize the Patriot movement in Spokane. Like you said before, that's a great town full of great people. Everyone I met over there, good head on their shoulders, freedom loving, liberty loving Americans who want to do the right thing. And they don't want to live in a government that's going to try to take their land or 
pull them over in unmarked cars. They don't want to have to worry about stuff like that. They want to be 